Hello and welcome to a new episode of Hoya of the Week. Today we have a Hoya that, despite all of the abuse, persevered. And the abuse was plentiful. I cannot actually believe how I mistreated this plant, but here we are. Four years after I got it, or three years after I got it, I bloomed it finally. You can totally bloom this plant within a year, no issue. And I think if you watch my videos, you will know what I'm talking about. It is Hoya Blasherna Ezi. And if I said in the past, Blasherna Ezi, that's incorrect. And if you find that I said that, you're not a friend of this channel. Don't look back at the old videos. Don't look back if you want to stay a friend of the channel. I will show you my plant. Unfortunately, it is not in bloom today. I think we can see some of the buds. They are most likely going to fall off. They are closed because this is one of those Hoyas that only blooms for a night. Thank you very much for those. Why? Why couldn't we bloom for days and days and days? I mean, all I'm saying is if I was designing Hoyas, if I was the one in charge with creation of Hoyas, I would make them bloom a lot longer. I just don't see the point in any flowering plant that blooms for, you know, couple of hours like what the heck are you doing with your life you know this is my Hoya Blas Hernaezi and I'm probably not pronouncing it right even now but I will get to that and you can see here what she looks like she's a bit oily we did lose a couple of leaves just now because of that so love it anyway you can see there the buds and they're still not coming off but very soon they will on a very long peduncle there. But this is a thin and long one. It's not like Hoya Vaimani. And the leaves, somewhat beautiful in this plant. I think this new one is probably the most beautiful. You can see what that looks like. And obviously, <laughs> I think maybe I overdid it with trellising. I think I made it too tight. I think we need to sort of space it out a little bit. It looks kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, I, I think a lot of these leaves are not receiving that great amount of light. So I think, I don't know, do we need to retrellis her? Also, a comment on the self-watering pots. She kind of looks ridiculous now. So I think like when we extend the trellis, when she grows, she will look better. But for now, it kind of looks like very stumpy. <laughs> But that's okay, that's okay. We are not going to criticize her too much. This is a Hoya that was published in Fraterna in 1999 by Dale Kloppenberg, and it is a Philippine Hoya. It was discovered on Catanduanes Island. I'm most likely pronouncing that wrong. And it was collected by Blas Hernaez. And uh, Blas Hernaez was a Philippine Hoya collector who collected a lot of Hoyas for their botanical department at the University of Philippines. And it was named after him. So it's 100% Blas, not Blash. <laughs> Uh, I just don't know how we pronounce Hernaez, so maybe people who are from Philippines can help out. But anyways, Blas Hernaezi is the way to say the name of this plant. And this is one Hoya that is very easy to grow, very easy to bloom. She clearly is very resilient because when I got this plant, I really wanted to grow her as a hanging plant. And I still, I don't know even why I tried to grow Hoyas as hanging plants. It's been showed to me multiple times that that's just, for whatever reason, not something that I'm well with, that I do great with. Most of my, even on my wall, you know, it's mostly aesthetical display, but are they thriving? Not really. So I'm not good at growing hanging Hoyas, but that's not the topic of this video. I tried to grow this one hanging, my Ben Vergarai, my Ben Quintensis. Ben Quintensis and Blas Hernazi recovered. Ben Vergarai is still recovering, still recovering. And I remember this one trying to bloom earlier on, but it just didn't make it. I was really underwatering it. Now, I don't think this is the one to underwater. This is a plant that comes from a region that gets 60% of the rain throughout the year, or 60% of the year it's rainy. That's the way to say that. So she comes from a very, very rainy region, very hot region as well, where she grows. I believe it's around, I do have to check, 25 degrees of Celsius to 30, that's the usual temperature for the lows and the highs, so from 77 to 86 degrees of Fahrenheit. The average is 27.9, so that's what? 
80 something that's the average the minimum ever recorded was 19 which is like 66.2 and i think the maximum was just a bit over 30 maybe 32 which is close to 90 degrees of fahrenheit yeah not a cool grower she can definitely stand temperatures that are maybe around 20 i have exposed her and she was fine but she is definitely a warm grower and that actually is quite good for us i would say because it's more likely that you will have a warm place in your home than a cool place for something like Hornehusia, which is a struggle to get those buds to open. But, you know, maybe one day we will have Hornehusia and Hoya of the Week. Is that day coming anytime soon? Absolutely not. Anyway, let's move on from that. So this Hoya, very, very easy to root, very easy to grow. I mean, she's just filled with aerial roots. You can see all over we have aerial roots not a challenge at all and i would say decently handsome leaves i have seen handsomer but i would say these are decently handsome there are several color forms we sort of have this yellowish one dark yellow i don't know i will attach some other ones i do have nice flower photos of this and uh, i initially thought this was a different plant but i actually think i mixed up the labels myself Someone is calling me. Oh my gosh, who is it? Who is it? My terraria mister just arrived, but we gotta continue with Hoya of the Week. Have no idea where I stopped. I'm so excited this arrived. This plant is now in coco peat and perlite. It's in a self-watering pot. It used to be in a more barky mix, and I can't tell you that she really loved that. I think if you are going to do a very well draining mix you will have to water her a lot i do think she benefits a lot from a self-watering pot especially if you have many plants she will really really benefit from that and i do again think this is a uh, one that you really should grow on the trellis i know there are people out there who grow the, this hanging but i think it's just really nice on a trellis very fast grower if you mess it up she will recover trust me i am the one that abused this plant and it's just impossible well it's not impossible to kill but near impossible and she will bounce back i do frequently still underwater her because i just uh, sort of forget that she needs to be watered that's the downside of self-watering pots you kind of get used to being lazier than you should but in any case a beautiful hoya flowers on mine again are yellow i had several other clones and i love how i just said they're not so easy to kill but i did kill those or actually mites did kill those they obliterated them i had all of the clones of hoya blasherna as the all of the color forms actually and they are actually now i'm thinking maybe i should get the rest of them i think low-key it would look cute to take all of the clones and grow them all together in a same pot i wanted to get rid of this one i really wanted to get rid of this one but i think i'm not going to i do like the way that she looks now i like her recovered so i think i'm going to keep her but anyway super easy hair to grow I would say suitable for a beginner. I would say suitable for a beginner and suitable for those who love to water. So, not me, not me. Let me know if you have this one. Let me know which is your favorite color form. I think I would love to get a pink one. Uh, I do like the yellow flower, but I'm sort of liking the pink one too. There is also subspecies Ciarie, so that is another one that you can look into. That one has a different color of uh of the corona so it's a nice contrast with the corolla definitely re recommended i think she is going to do well in household conditions just regular household because she is the one that really likes to be warm temperature is on your side in this case that is all i have to say about her blas hernaezi i hope that you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next week in another installment of hoy of the week Goodbye! I would like to take some time to thank all of my patrons for their incredible support. A massive shout out to my $5 patrons. My two anonymous patrons, Alex von Siebenthal, Amber Clear, and Meg Ritmoen, Angela Bernard, Angela Parrish, and C. Aspen Drake, Betsy, Brett Noble, Candy Tapped, Catherine Molina, Christine Claire Cola, Daniela, Danub Daniels, Daria Kaminska, Dili Heredia, Diane Sikorsky, Dipanjali Rao, Either W, Erin Keenan, Eleni Saxon, Alan, M. Mortal, Farah, Gathering Moss, Gina Geise, Go Green 
Tropical Gross It's Kyle, Heather Uppingham, who is Scott Boyer, Heather, Yana Griffin, Jessica Chia, Jonas Barry, Hjorth Larsen, Jovan Denot, Kara, Catherine P, Casey Gross, Kelly Gallagher, Kelso, Kimberly Polka, Kiwi Mochi, Christy Ehrlich, Lisa Mary, MPLS, Lori J. Revert, Mandy Milliken, Marcel Har, Maria Stein, Marina Yarmulich, Mars B, Marty Miller, Mary Rose, Melissa Walker, Michael Curley, Michelle Heron, Nicole Ferranti, Mirka Grun Roos, Mo Edman, Nelly Yang, Niha Basso, Nicole Maroney, Nan Nguyen, Nita Macy, BJ Plan Druid, Rachel Peterson, Sandra Cornelius, Sherry Kumar, Sophia Rian, Stephanie H2O, Tessa Martin, Stia B, TJWO, Trista Bailey, Tristan Thomas, Wendy Rossman, Zenia Green, Youth of the Volmuth, Zaira Rivera, Zordarama, and Zlokov Nipponi. A big thank you to my $3 patrons Angelina Farnan, Kelon Constance, Daryl Der Rosario, Deborah Violet, Eden C, Catherine Parsons, Kenz Brown, L. Lindbergh, Lindsay Ann, Mary H, Monica Weikers, Nella, Sykes Zera, Renee Church, Ringlo Tang, Watanas Riakul, and Wendy Foreman. And a thank you to my $1 patrons, one anonymous patron, Alice Borland, Brandon Pacheco, Christina Greengrass, Colleen Coyle Levi, Couture Helvetica, Emilia Bronson, Jamie Arsenault, Jolie Sullivan, Kayla Vavra, Kelly Ash, Chris Perez, Lauren M. Lori and Subramania, Bluesman Fernandez, Neely Spicer, Nerdy Cathy, Olivia Chinmuller, Sarah, and Tracy the Eyebiller.